Here's how to not approach someone for work. Have you ever reached out to a brand for work only to hear crickets? You hear those crickets. I'm guessing you only reached out once. I'm also guessing you send them a generalized message with unrelated work. A few years ago, when I was trying to get more clients in the fitness space, I began a DM spree where I would DM hundreds of brands every single week. Spent countless hours researching and finding brands and creating this lead list. Spent days crafting what I thought was the perfect message to send. I bundled it up with some of my best videos and sent it off. Can you guess what happened next? Nothing. Nothing. You wanna know why? Because I only DM'd them once. Not only that, I didn't have any samples of the style of work I wanted to do. Did you ever have to get a minimum wage job at Wendy's or McDonald's or something similar? Do you remember how you got the job? I do. I didn't have a burger flipping award. There wasn't anything making me better than the competition. So what did I do? I followed up. Statistics say you need at least eight touch points before closing a sale. So don't go expecting to get a new client off of one DM. You have to be persistent. Not only that, you need to sell them on the vision with visuals that reference the work. Don't try and book a music video client with wedding videos. You wanna learn more about how to master the art of selling your services? Yes! Sign up for my exclusive creatives coaching program where I'm helping creatives like you get past their limiting beliefs, unlock their true potential, and do it all through my 12 week coaching program. 12 steps to making six plus figures as a creative entrepreneur. Don't miss. Follow for more daily tips, tricks, and tutorials.